Hello and welcome to Ravenport, one of my absolute all-time favourite maps on FS19. I've for once chosen a new farmer start in the hope that you actually start where you did before. It looks like I'm not going to be disappointed. Got to be honest, yeah, there's going to be a bit of like, this is only released today, so there's going to be a little bit of settling down and probably... There's probably too many objects and also, oh yeah, that was a little bit, yeah, that was a bit awful. Yeah, you can see, actually, yeah, we do start with, I've on a new farmer start. I'm not sure where I'm going with this, not sure what at all what I'm doing with it or, or what we're doing or whether we're going to do what I've frequently done before. Because this opens up, I've got to be honest, one of my favourite starts was this area here. Now, to do that, you had to sell this little lot here, but... This looks rather intriguing. We've got a lot of crop that's ready. It is August. Oh, times five. Let's put that down to times one. What equipment have we got? Yeah, let me first of all show you that. Yeah, it's a new farm stop, but I'm not on. There's no way on this earth we are going to play with, um, yeah, like easy. No way. Normal. We don't want any of that. We don't want any of the. Yeah, we want. I want us to play as if it start from scratch. Uh, do, I'm going to go slow and fuel usage. We're going to put a normal trailer fill. I never do. We don't want any of this on. And I do want to show you that we have not been here for very long at all. One minute, which is how long we've been on the map. Yeah, we're going to do my standard settings. And we're going to save the game. It's always wise. You never know what's going to go <laughs> happen on the game. This is, it's the day of release, I believe. I haven't seen this. I've been on almost every day and I haven't seen this. And I was feeling like I've, I've been on all week. I've been doing um, Fox Farms all week and it's been a monster slog. I've enjoyed it, but I just really fancied it something a little bit. I thought, not, not again. It's just been too much. It's been every single night this week and I've really made a lot of progress. I thought I really fancy something a little bit different. So I'm on Ravenport. I don't know where it's going. I don't know what we're doing. I just know that we're on Ravenport. Let's just have a look at what equipment we get. Now, the thing I used to love about this more than anything was the fact that I got what became one of my favorite tractors, which was the 7250 Pro. I used to get two of them and I nearly always sold them all because I didn't appreciate what they were. I think they were low, but you could upgrade them to basically 261 horsepower you could let me just see something the one thing that always used to bug me about this was the wasted space here yeah i really always wanted to use this space it always drove me crazy so chicken pasture oh that's a chicken oh okay well that you see that's not wasted space not not this time no i don't do that either just checking so that is now a chicken pasture. Used to bug me that there was so much wasted space here. So this is now a chicken pasture with 500 chickens. Wow, that's not bad at all. We have this kind of silo. Now I've got to be honest, on Fox Farms, I know this is a legit, as in like it is, is it multi-fruit? Oh, I bet it's not. It's not going to be, is it? It's going to be standard fruits. Which really does bug me. But if you sell them, you usually get a fortune for them. Well, let's have a look. How much would we get? If it's not silly. Uh, I suppose that's not silly, silly. But has it got anything in it? That's what we could sort of look at that and just see what have we got in this. I used to always, all the maps used to have stuff in it. That's the thing of the past. It really is. Uh, don't get me wrong. It was a, yeah, I mean, it's not. But I think we will. I think we're going to go for a multi-fruit. That's the one addition we are going to go. So we are going to spend it on that. I don't want this to like get silly. Although I suppose you could reinvest in the farm and put something else in its place as long as I put a silo in. The other thing used to bug me was the buildings that were like wasted. I always used to sell the buildings that were pointless. Yeah, like these. Always. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want that. Do want that? Yeah, that, yeah, that, that's. Yeah, I suppose it to be a, an accurate rendition. It really's got to be an accurate rendition, but yeah, yeah, because they're not really. They, they don't do anything. Now that might, that might actually do something. Yeah, I just, I just could never see the point 
on having things that were pointless <laughs> that that's the practical person in me that, that's always like talking about efficiency it was an inefficient waste of space now that that's not in if no 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 i like that that storage yeah that we're keeping it's got proper use yeah we've got no time for like uh, anything other than so we've got 520 grand now what is that one down there is that animals or is that just another good looking now there is that when it says farm storage is it farm storage or is it just yeah i mean what does it mean by farm storage yeah because i mean like i don't know what you mean well i suppose can we have a look in this i don't know where we would look for this yeah hmm i think it's just as in the other ravenport buildings really a bit of a yeah now that we're not selling now i'm going to keep that only the impractical buildings everyone needs a house to live in <laughs> so i've got six hundred and twenty thousand. I don't know whether to do what I would, what I used to do before, whether that's to up sticks and side of them, but I really like this area. I always did. It always really pleased me, this particular area, even though it looks a little less hilly than it used to be. This, oh, I don't know, I'm not sure. It's going to be a challenge with the tractors we've got. That's why I'm going to say we've not looked in the sales, but this I am well pleased with. Oh, we've got my favourite trailer. Oh, we've got three, tra three tractors. Oh, got the Luxem as well. Maxim, sorry. Yes, Maxim. 145 horsepower. So we've got three tractors. We will now look together on the sails to see what we've got. And we have... I quite like the top... I do like the Deutz. I'm a massive fan of this. I've had this throughout in entire Let's Plays. I can quite happily keep it unless we've got an upgrade, as in like it was in the sails or something like that. So then, yeah, uh, Cedar... No, we'll sell it direct. I'm not going to faff around. And the weights we will swap for weights that I actually like. Keep the trailer unless there's something in there. And we're going to sell that. I will replace it with another car though. Baylor, I'm quite happy with. Uh, I say, yeah, the harvester, happy too. Cultivate, I'm probably going to. Uh, go for well, I mean sometimes I very account I mean it's, it's it's weird obviously in the beginning of FS22 there was very little and then there was any direct drill at all now obviously precision farming is back and everything's going direct drill so what is in the sales oh now this is a recent drop prepare cereal grains for TMR and robot feeder I'd like to have a go of this really oh now that's not that's interesting not only have we got the light but we've also got a track, uh, uh, yeah, Mac Superliner H2 Studios. I've never had this yet. Oh, it's beautiful colours as well. I think we're going to go for that. Yep. And I think to go with that, we're going to go for that. Standard Y, extra wheels, no cover. Oh, no, that's a little bit on the... Uh, yeah, I'll go for that for 25,000. Yep. And have we got any sprayers? No, we haven't. So we definitely. That is. Oh, I like the colour as well. I don't want weed spot spraying. I absolutely. It's caused so much issues. Weed spot spraying for myself. Uh, yeah, I do. I'm interested in that. Apologies, just sneeze. But I did switch. I did switch the microphone up in time. With a roller mill, you can prepare cereal grains for TMR and robot feeder. Roller mill, you can mill, prepare cereal grains. I don't really get what that is. I think it's a food producer, isn't it? From all of those things, TMR. I did like the sound of it, really, but it's not that expensive anyway. So we may or may not, yeah, buy one in the sales or something like that. So we've now got a little bit more than we had before. Yes. We've got the truck and we've got a big trailer which will suit us down to the ground 60 cubic meters i love the way it devalues to straight 50 percent as soon as you buy it but nevertheless yeah it was now we are going to need a fertilizer spreader we have got a lot of cash we have obviously got ready to harvest so let's not chatter anymore let's get some work done are we going to use a traditional worker on this just for a bit of a laugh? Because these are beautiful fields. It just seems 
now then. We will do the course based settings though, because we're not always going to be doing this type of thing. So, no, we don't expert mode, even though I, I can handle it. It's just, yeah, we want. No, it's that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I smash it. Save the settings. Oh, the other one that I often forget is this one. Yeah, don't repair. Right, so we are on New Farm Start. Yeah, and we are going to start straight away. We're going to pop down the shop and we're going to go grab the trailer, I think. Yeah, we're going to play this one by... Uh, oh, my life, it is a monster. I don't know that the Deutz is going to be able to manage that. I mean, as in, like, its pipe reaches that high. I never realised it was that. No. Oh, we're not very badly damaged. Now, is it where it used to be? I, I've got to be honest, this is Ravenport was a really is or was a really challenging map. It's a, yeah, a, it, even the start where you start is not um, not easy. It is quite hilly, although I don't know whether they've toned it down a little bit. It used to be here. And it's always have a bit of a bump here, yeah, which it still has. Oh, oh, we've got a little bit of a summit there. Right, okay, okay, let's just, let's be sensible here. And let's switch this on rather than waste half an hour. Ooh, you were so close. <laughs> we need to pull board a little bit further. Nah. Yeah, so it's really where all the oil is, I do like that. I don't know, I don't, I don't think it's giants that have released it. I, I think it is a, yeah somebody else I'm sure that it was a I was so excited I didn't properly look yes yeah, so I'm not sure if this is actually going to work it is a bit of a beast a bit of a beaut though yeah, I did I have it I've had it in for a, um, two or three months and never had it in the sales yet so and I've never sort of uh, I've sort of got my favorites that you do have and unless it comes in the sales and you sort of think oh that's right a really good thing right we also need to come grab this uh, we could be clever. We could drive back home and then grab a tractor. Now, is that actually doing anything? Please tell me it's not got stuck or anything, silly. No, no, Philip is doing a cracking job. Right, let's take this back home. Yes, yeah, so I'm not sure where we're going with this, but I just knew I'd got to come on. Now, I wasn't sure I was going to do a start from scratch, and I thought, let's have a look first at how... Yeah, like what, what? And I mean, yeah. Obviously, we've sold a lot of stuff. We are. We've got to put a silo down, and I may well put a silo that's not cheap. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I don't think this is going to work with the uh, Deutz. I really don't. So I suppose we could actually buy something with a bigger part now. If I, oh, this is a little bit. No, not not a lot, really. Very very similar. Yeah, one of my favourite fields was that over there. There was a lot of trees for you to chop down. Of course, that was back when you really didn't have very much options to be able to chop down. Now, yeah, I, I'm, and this field over here, Mr. Silly P also chose that field on the right as on his uh, Ravenport Let's Play. I've chosen, I, I, well, to be honest, there are many places on this map that I haven't It's one of those maps I must have done about 10 times easily. But not, I don't know, even more than that probably. I must have done the normal start where we are now over and over again to try to get different things. It always felt, I liked it. It's a long way away from the shop. That's my only bad thing. But I, I did always love this. I think it was amazing. Now then, we have got a baler too. I don't think that's got, got any chance of reaching that high, personally. But now then, who's the fastest? I would say the Maxim or maybe the John Deere. Maybe. This could easily manage the bird town. I think we'll also pick up a fertilizer spreader as well. Got to buy some things new. And we are going to go for my absolute favourite because it's just such an absolute fantastic thing. Why would you not? Yeah. 
Right, let's go grab it because this is a fast little nippy thing. Yes, it, it was that, that feeling of nostalgia that you get of like a blast from the past. I just couldn't, I thought I can't pass this opportunity up to, even if it's just with FS22, just to look at Ravenport and I don't know what I'm going to do here. I thought, well, we're just, yeah, we're going to have a look. Now, obviously, there's not going to be a massive yield. The other thing that I love about uh, Ravenport was, um, oh, brilliant, okay. I've not seen any traffic. Have we not switched traffic off, have we, or anything silly? Apologies, vehicle only. I always get... I'm sure it's that that's traffic. Weeds, dirt, snow... Traffic on, yeah. That's yeah. It's definitely, definitely on. Right. Let's start. Let's see. I, I really think I'm probably completely right. We could actually treat ourselves to one that actually sort of suits our big trailer. And I know that seems a bit of a funny thing to say, but what I mean is, yeah. Really, two thousand six hundred and five liters. Like they are very small, very small fields. Okay, okay, no, no, that's been allowed. Yeah, I would imagine because it is a bit of a high. Okay, no, if we, as long as we can work with that, I'm happy. I mean, I'm not sure why we're going to stick the silo, because I'm thinking if we're staying in this area, we need to extend the field straight away. The thing is that always got me about this area was there's no room for expansion. You, I mean, you. Could, I did used to like cut the trees down and make this, but it's a really quite banky in that area. Likewise, there's not much room for you to go this way or this way. So I think we probably will shift, if I'm honest, because I don't think there's much of a future. It's always going to be a small farm. Yes, of course, you can go to animals and all the rest of it, but I, I we're, we're going to make the most of what we've got, though. We're not going to be silly and just like, just, yeah, we're going to grab the straw, we're going to bail all that type of stuff and then we're going to literally lock stock and barrel literally sell and go yeah we are and that that's definitely what we're going to do so we're not going to bother with precision farming not on this because we're going definitely right smash in so then with that in mind it's not much point in actually like going over there so if that is the case one thing we can do is we may as well if we literally, and obviously we're going to lose a lot of value for this, it's not as simple as cut dry as, oh, you know, you know, because we're actually literally hoping to go somewhere else. So we will be selling that barn after all said and done now. Because I can't sell the land as long as, yeah. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to class that as a placeable too. I would imagine it probably will. Yeah, because I can't sell the land. At least I don't think I can. I think that was it. I don't think we used to be something on the top of the hill. No, I think I think that's it. Yeah, I think we can now sell uh, everything. Um, I, no, I think we'll fit it all into our thing, and then we're shifting. So we need to grab. Let's get these bales done. I'm going to go into a time lapse because we have got quite a bit of work to do. Yeah, if we're shifting our backside to another place we need to be go getting these bales we are gonna are we gonna lease or are we gonna buy i think semi-automatic we need to be changing the baler to maximum size i'm hoping this has not got twine on because the twine system I, I think i removed it i don't think it can have now i'm sure i moved it right i need to change the size to maximum which i think it is 180 yeah that's it smash it and I'm going to do this myself, I am. And uh, we also need to be grabbing, I think because we're shifting, we're going to ask the shop for an emergency delivery. And we are going to grab a, that is a point. Does the, does that handle one eight as it does? Yeah, we're going to, I think we're going to buy one. We've got extra cash. Right, fantastic, let's reset that. Right, fantastic gifts. We're not. We're not. Literally, we're gonna. Yeah, grab everything. So I'm gonna say my words. I'm gonna see you guys and gals on the other side.
Right, that is us done. We are now shifting our backsides. Yeah, we're going to literally. So, I, I, the one thing I am going to say, just this is not. Yeah, it is only because I've got to be honest. Of all the maps I've ever played, this is the best farm. This particular patch for new farmers to learn about Farmer Simulator. It, there's no map, in my personal opinion, that is better for learning with square fields than this particular one. This small. There's yeah, it's not they're not fantastic. They're, of course they're not fertilized and lime, so they would be much better yield. But yeah, they are you can expand them a little, you can uh, yeah, there's but the land in it's yeah, having done this to the utmost and absolutely like uh, unless you're gonna rob the entire middle section of this particular bit, it's very lumpy as well. With all things considered, you're better to if you want to expand to shift now. That, that's all I'm going to say. Not because I don't appreciate how beautiful this is and all the rest of it. Is it? Oh, ah, okay. Well, that's interesting. We own that as well. Now that that will, if that is the case, which it is, then in that case we might well go around in this end. Now you can see this is heavily supporting the new crop types. Yeah, so I think we probably will. And there's a yeah. Now that's quite a hilly field. Well, it is if it stays true to the one that it was before. So, let's sell this, and it's very reasonable the land, but there's, a lot of it is wasted. There's very little field, as you can see, on that. But it's a massive farmyard. It is a cracker for that. And likewise, yeah, it's not the value isn't. I don't know what the rest of the fields are like. We're not selling that anyway. I don't care. Ah, yeah, another about on par. Yeah. That was the other. Oh, that's not amazing. That is one of my always was one of my favourite fields. Always was. Now that's yeah. Now there's a lot of wasted space on that as well. Likewise, that's really not very usable. So then, in that case, we're definitely buying that because it's right next door to this. I'm definitely buying that, even though it's it's awful. It really is, but that doesn't mean to say it can't be the farmyard. We can chop trees there. It is hilly though, I am going to say that before we go. Well, it, it was hilly. I'm going to buy field 30 though to be our bestest field. Likewise, there's a lot of room for expansion. Now then, what we are going to do, wow, even still got that. We are going to buy, this is revenge for all of those times. We will plant more trees, but yeah, this is revenge for the horrible gnarly trees that were the bane of my existence when I first came on to Farmer Simulator, when you'd got to use cranes, and or you thought you'd got to use cranes. Right, we're gonna go for standard. Yeah, we are gonna buy it as well, because it's well worth it. For what we've just done now, we definitely need that. Right, we are, because we've been given such a lot of money though, I, I know we've we've sort of sold all the buildings, we are gonna rebuy buildings. This is not, yeah, me gonna just go and we're gonna buy half the map. We've got we've gone for a pretty similar size and we will expand in the future, but it's not about that. We're shifting farms. So that means I have got to put sheds down and all the rest of it straight away. I don't want this to be a start from scratch. It's a new farmer start. I want us to have a farmyard. I just knowing everything I know about this, as as beautiful as it is, there's very little room. You've got yeah, knowing what you know as you sort of do come into the game more and more, you realise that this is limited. Yeah, well, I always did, and I do, I do still love it, but I do recognise that there's very little room for expansion. There's only so much you can expand your fields, and then there's nothing else around. Well, there is, only if you, yeah, because there's roads that join where we, in fact, we're going to go up that way now. Of course, that is if things are as they used to be. <laughs> yeah, you, you can't presume. Right, so we're going to do a bit of a procession. Oh. I'd forgotten that. I meant to reset that. Yeah, I, I'd get myself the money back because it did one of those reset, well, one of the deliveries just for moving it for 1,294 or something like that. Now that it's, it, no, it's this one. But in fact, no. Yeah, that's new. Yeah, it is actually. Yeah, so normally, no, 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 that has always been that way, but that, that used to be. The woodyardy type thing, of course it did, yeah. 
So this has changed a little bit. It's not completely the same. That was one of the worst bends in the game. That looks like that was that's that's been changed somewhat as well. Train's still here, that's fantastic. So there's most things, this especially, I still stick to it, even this as it is now, is a beautiful starting map for anybody who's wanted. I, I used to love that about oh, because I cut my teeth on Ravenport and I did always fall very much in love with this particular map. Right, let's let's try and grab as much as we can. We'll grab the tree be gone as well. Uh, we'll leave the Welga for now because we've obviously got the 60 tonner. Now obviously you can see that there really is a terrible amount. It really is absolutely vile, the amount that we've got for, yeah, for, uh, yeah, no, there is no way for us to do this, is there? No, no, we, we need this because this is one of the first things we're going to need to, uh, yeah, on the new land because there's, there's too many trees and they are the yeah, well, unless they've been changed, they were always the horrible, gnarly type trees that were vile. Yeah, really vile. Yeah, they, you, you just, yeah, you chainsaw them and they are horrid. And these don't look, yeah, so we, we, we're going to, we're not, we're not taking any prisoners. <laughs> we're not faffing around. We're going for the jugular. But we will replant more because I am, I do love trees, but I just, yeah, the, <laughs> this is revenge. Yeah. Yeah, you no, know, it shows that you know, I did see, obviously, uh, I can't see any grain in there. It is new, new, but not new, new, if you know what I mean. It's, it's, it is, as I said, it's been in the game now for quite a while, but that's that's a little bit of an odd one. Yeah, I've never seen a, any of them that really don't show you your grain inside. I almost wish I'd got the cover. Right, let's get green. Let's roll this... Uh, a uh, very small procession. So all we're leaving is the Welga. Uh, I'm not sure if the tree be gone. Tree Devourer is going to be able to... Uh, I think it's that one. I think. Yeah, I think I'm going the wrong way. We shall... Uh, yeah, we shall get this procession back home. And then we shall... Uh, yeah, settle in a little bit, I think. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We want the uh, John Deere. Yeah, it's my ship. And then we want to well, make sure. I've got to get rid of this do not, nothing to sell malarkey. I have no idea what it is, what I've done. Apart from us pressing keys. Now then, I think it's this one. It's this, yeah, no, it is. It's the, the old ones that used to be, used to lead to the, um, used to be able to sell bales and wood, I think. Was it, or was it just wood? I think it was bales as well, but no, it was definitely, oh, It was one or the other. You could definitely sell, but this does look like it's not quite going to the place that it used to go because it has been some change. Look, are we heading the right way? Yeah, yeah, we are. Yeah, we're definitely going the right way. So we'll come back for the Welga. I've got the other, um, obviously, tractor on the topic, but I wanted this to be us doing something, as in like progress. I knew it wouldn't take so long to actually uh, do the. Um, harvest now I not, didn't look closely to see if we got fields in I didn't look if it was harvested although I think to be honest it's we shall see I, I don't really know being totally truthful I don't even I say that you there used to be a terrible yeah there were, this particular set had a very tall, tall bank to the left that was really quite terrible so now this looks very much like our animals so it does make perfect sense if this is the sheep place that we, uh, yeah. Re oh wow, it's actually got some buildings as well. Is this all ours? Because if it is, I, yeah, I really do like the buildings. Hmm. I think this, we'll make this the main farmyard. If it is, if this is all our, oh, cows as well. I thought it said sheep. Wow. Ah, perhaps you've got no animals. Which is why it doesn't show you. Well, this is different, and I do like this a lot. I approve. Thank you very much, young lady, for your assistance. The bales were massive. Yeah. I know the 180s, but they're still big. So, this is going to be the farmyard, then. This is going to be the centre of our life. It is. Also, going to check to see how many animals we can have. 
Yeah, and seven bales out of all those fields. That is really quite phenomenal. So then. Uh, is there any way into the... Yeah, these look like doors to me. Oh, this is a... Yeah, proper... Oh, I do like this. Yeah, I'm very, very pleased with this. Uh, is this ours, though? Yeah, yeah, it is. This is the sheep and the cows. So, and there's room for growth as well. Ooh. 150, reasonable. Very reasonable. Yes, I am very, very pleased. Yep, this is home. Definitely, I'm glad. I'm good. We've, and what we've done actually matches with where we've gone to. We've not gone too far. So, let's just check. Have we got crops in? That looks like canola. Carrots and my favourite vegetable, beetroots. Now then, are you? Oh, you are. Oh, 22 is ready to harvest as well. So that is, I think it is canola. It's that, it was still a pharaoh track. It is over a bit of a hill, right? Okay, let's get this. Uh, we're going to need to silo. Yeah, we're going to need to put a silo down first of all. Now then, I'm. Yeah, I was think with this now you've got to think we've got three stretched out fields which we're probably going to stretch as much as i possibly can Pro yeah and no, i might do what one on up here it's going to be a strange shape I might just expand that one as much as we can which is not a lot just to sort of make it a little bit rounded out well when i say rounded i mean yeah further down uh, there's no room this is too hilly and it always was this also, you can't go too far into the bank. It really is. Well, you can, but it will cost you a fortune. So it is canola. Yeah, and again, there's a, there's a lot of room for expansion, but not a lot. Yeah, this is wasted space here. So we'll just be able to expand that a little bit. Not a lot. It's a fairly good size field. And this is my absolute old favourite with loads of room for expansion. I think we own pretty much up to the road. Used to do anyway. And we'll go all the way down. I used to love to rip this end right the way down there. We should check though to see if I'm right. Don't want to go much further closer to the edge of the field. Though. I want a bit of headland there. I don't mind the other. Yeah, ripping the trees and all the rest of it. So let's have a look. Am I right? Yes, it does go all the way to the right. And all the way to the path. And all the way to the, the, the edge of the... Um, Oh, it's the clothing type mill, isn't it? The, the, yeah, that one. That's the one. Right. I think we're going to leave it here. I'm not going to make it to monster session. We've got Sky's the Limit. Yeah, I'm, this is going to be my uh, fun map for those sessions where I've, I've lost um, the will to live on the bigger ones and I can't sort of crack on. I mean, it's, it's, it's not massive. We are, of course, yeah, going to have the fun of we've got some buildings. I'm going to try to keep it in character with what we've got to go for the American type buildings and also the American type silos. So, with that in mind, I would. Yeah, no, that was what I was trying to say, really. Yeah. If we're going to expand these i always like to design my farm based upon now if you imagine the dead center of the, in fact let's do this on this map now then optimally dead center of this lot here would be about there just in front of 22 but there's a lot of space that's a bit wasted that we could sort of level a little bit to put more here than yeah, let's just see. Let's just see where we are. Yeah, ideally, I suppose the. Mo uh, I don't know. No, I think I'm right. I think probably there, close to the edge of 43. But if we're trying to expand 43, let's have a look then. If that's the case, we're talking about here then. It does level up a little bit down there. We could always level and stick that with access from the roadside. This may cost us a lot, but I'm really not worried about that. We've got, yeah, we've, we've, right, we wanted to intensify this. Maximum intensity and a little bit big. We're going to go from that point because we're probably also going to make a bit of a road down here to this. This is going to be like a, a central place that we really do need. We could expand it in time for productions, but, oh, that went the wrong way. Oh, well. Yeah, this is what's going to cost us the lot. Uh, 
that's level in the hillside. Yeah. As bad as I th not as bad as I thought. We ought to sort of level this a little bit, or else we're never. Uh, do we level it just down at the bottom so it's a bit like a road leading to there? Ooh, now I need to sort of like do it a bit softer now. That was I don't know what other on earth I was thinking there. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure how we. I might need to do a bit of a. Runoff? No, I think we can do it. Yeah, I think we can do what you could do with that, the runoff tool, the uh, little hilly one, where you do the up and the down. Yeah, if we soften that quite a lot, I'd like to do this type of thing straight away while we've got the money, because this type of thing really does cost. That we've just spent twenty odd grand already just on leveling and smoothing and all the rest of it. Right, let's just smooth those, take the edge off that. And take the edge off that. And we don't want to disturb the tree really. Let's just soften that a little. So we can sort of r run off this a little too. And then let's have a look at the silos. I think it's a bit of fun. Uh, again, I don't mind this if this is. It's got, got to be in character though. Well, I suppose, yeah, they were the metal ones already. So. Yeah, I don't really think... I've got to be honest, I've got these on Fox Farms, and I like the realism in a way, but again, the mechanics are a little bit clunky. Not because I do like the idea of them, but they are. It is clunky. So... With Hayloft. With Concrete Silo. Ooh, I think we need to eke out half the mountain if we're going to do that one. Yeah, it's well too much trees and such like. Yeah, there was a bit of a flicker of life there. American barn with metal silo. It's too big. It is. It's too big for us. Yeah, there are these ones as well. The American fermented. Silo. But yeah, American barn. That's more like it. It is. It is, and it matches the um, the one almost. Let's try and get that. Like have we not got any red ones? But yeah, not the not the Adrian Jim ones. So not not because I don't like them, but yeah, I just I'm trying to stick in character with the buildings that we've already got. That's all to see if there are any uh, sort of that kind of style. Yeah, but while we've got the cash, I don't want to like faff around and uh, yeah, that it is red, but. Spano, grain storage. Ah. Ah. Yeah, just the wrong way, isn't it? Oh, that's a shit. Uh, you know, it is, it is. Yeah, not that I don't want it. I do like some of these, though. Bale storage. Yeah, it's not going to suit us, though, is it, really, for what we're trying to do? I mean, that suits anything, really. I do love these, but I have that nearly all the time. Had that once a long time ago. Two million multi fruit. Oh, it's a Bernie one as well. Just see if there's a ready type one that not not the Ermitana one, well, not because I don't like it, but because yeah, I'm trying to go for something as well. That that, that is Ermitana, but it is a very sort of in character as well. But yeah, I'm trying to stay clear. Right, okay, so then. Looks like, I, oh yeah, but there were some beautiful ones that were there that were just too big, that are really in character. But I am trying to silo grape and olive. About scrape and olive, yeah. We don't, I'm not not really, not mean that we won't do it, but no, nope, that's a little too big again. Yeah, these are light, but they are. Yeah, because he's got to go that way. And it's yeah, it's going to cost us ten thousand more, and it's going to do some massive bang on that. Otherwise, I would say yes, that would be preferable. But yeah, you can see it's already lifting well above the level of the. So it's going to do something silly 
and I really don't want to do that. Also, Salubuki, of course. Yeah, so this was the original one that we had. It doesn't say anything about, yeah, multi fruit, so we're going to give it a miss. That's Bavarian. Yeah, I'm not rushing, and I apologise for, like, uh, dragging my feet, but, yeah, this is... Ah, with liquid, so is the Lord. Now, they would suit any farm. Small iron ore. I do love this, but, again, I've had the Hessian farm one in loads of places. That is probably my absolute favourite for a starting farm. Two million litres, as well as quite a bit of sheds, but we're not really interested in that on this particular farm. All right, let's have a look. Small, yeah. So there's that against more Bavarian. There's the Alien Gym that one there. American fermenting, but we don't fermenting. Fermenting, fermenting. American barn. Again, that's very much like her. Uh, five million for ten thousand. That is so reasonable. Right, we're going to stick that. Just trying to make sure that we don't do anything silly. Right, fantastic. Let's do a bit of softening. And then I am going. Yeah, I do realise this is going to be quite a long sort of session, really, even with a bit of a time lapse. But I'd like to make... I, I wanted to move, because I knew as soon as I saw this, I started to weigh my options up. I thought, it is a cracking farm, it is. And it's one of the best for learning your trade as a farmer. But after that, you realise your farmer's eye that you sort of gain after hours of playing the game. You like think, yeah, but there's there's very little scope for like improvement after a certain bit. I might have to do something with this. But for now, let's do a bit of painting. Um, asphalt probably is probably the best. That's a bit too wide. I'm a bit mad with that. Yeah, and a little. We might do a bit of grass back over at some point. And a little bit of. Yeah, we also want to do. Let's get a bit of the. Get rid of those as well. They can stay. And that can go. And that can too. It looks odd where it is, but the rest they can pretty much stay. I think. Yeah, I've got to, got to run a. Uh, I think that's a bit too severe there. But oh, I've got also gone underneath the road. I can see that straight away. So I'm going to need to lift, do that straight away too. I hate doing near roads for that very reason. Oh, it's very strange. Yeah. Gradual. I hate using lift. It's not a very nice way of doing it. Let's just borrow you without the back. You just see how terrible that is. So this is our approach. We could also, in time, do a bit of a run through straight over here. We're literally leveling this and taking the tree down uh, and making it a proper run through here. But yeah, the silo is in the middle of our property to of all of our land and is down here because it's going to suit us yeah let's have a quick look well, I know next session we're going to have to do the canola yeah tree's going to have to be removed good to this point yeah and that didn't do a bad job here and how do we go here this looks really strange we might have to put some grass there it's really weird that is I can't because you couldn't actually sort of go any higher. Can we stick something like some plants or something to disguise it? Plants. Ah, why don't you do it? No. Ugh, yes, really, I've done something strange to that. 
Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. I really don't. Because if you go up here, it really is sort of... Yeah? Strange? It is? Yeah, I, I don't know what to say. I, I, hope, I don't know what, whether we can fix that or not. It's reasonable for now. We, we'll figure something out. We will. But for now, so we've got the silo back. We will. We've got some sheds already, which is fantastic. Do we put a shed? I'd like to. Yeah, I'd like to beg, like bed us down a little. But the other thing is, I would like some buildings around the farmyard. There's quite a bit of room down there. Again, if this is the centre of the yard, to me personally, it makes more sense that some of our sheds for storage equipment is actually down here facing our two biggest fields again closer to the edge of the silo so that it's also not terribly far away from the third field too really that's what i'm thinking obviously we're going to go that away too yeah when i say i mean you could argue that well this is not much more of room for expansion than this one well you can actually sneak up there's a there's a bit of a way to get all up there Although they are strange fields. If I, well, they were. One of my favourite areas of starting was here. But they aren't as nice as you think. Especially these two used to be really hilly. Leaning down heavily. You can't really see that on the map. That's probably my favourite field. You can actually do a farmyard and that. But if you look at the price. It is. Oh, it's actually quite reasonable. I split it into two now. Yeah, it is. I, I, that would have been my choice, but I've done it so many times. I wanted to be also. The other thing is that we also were given this. I did want to sell that. We've got animals, and I'm going to do that. That's where we're going to blow a lot of our cash. We've obviously got this. We might need to expand our equipment a little bit, but I'd like to sort of feature the sales a lot, as I usually do, so to bring a random element in. We've bought some bits and bobs. We need a fertilizer. We do need to buy. Yeah, let's buy a few little bits and bobs. We we need a bigger tractor. It's no good, really. The, our biggest tractor is... Is it 190? No, 175. Yeah, we need a bigger tractor. We do, really, if we're going to be doing uh, ploughing and stuff like that. So, with that in mind, with us having a lot of cash, I'm going to blow a massive amount now on... Yeah, It's not, is it that one? No, 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 it's not. No, 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 it's the other Leap Wolf. I don't know where it's stored. Aha. It's not this one either. No, it isn't. No, there's three that I've got. And it's actually somewhere, it's in large tractors. That's it. So I got, I got stuck by this the other day. It's a cracking price, and it is a really beaut, it really is. It's more than I'd like to pay, but because we have got a bit more cash, although, can we really afford that kind of thing? I'm trying to think, can we, really? I mean, that's my favourite. We could actually, thinking about it, go for that. I do love this. It is one of my favourite tractors. And you can go big straight away. I, I, yeah, I know it's a cheap. I don't want to. I want to do the farm. And if I blow it on a, a big tractor, then yeah, let's do that. From weights, yes. Wanted to know quickage, yes. Uh, yeah, seventy-four thousand and ninety by Caesarius modding. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah brilliant bit of kit it really is so that's our big tractor we need to grab a i'm going to grab the uh, plow by ridiculous dominic yeah it is a bit or do we go bigger we can't mm, we could afford it actually for once but the thing is about this one not about the cash it's about the fact it's got a mulcher built in we will buy that too and we also want a scanner I'm going to go for my standard scanner. Well, it's not too silly, but it's quite large. So we're going to go for the 65 before it gets silly. And we're going to go for case, case red. It makes sense. Right, and what else do we need? Um, we got rid of the cedar, didn't we? We do need a cedar, but again, we're not in a rush to seed. We do need, and now that is a point actually. Thinking about it, 
we've got vegetables some vegetable technology we could do because this is a bit of a leveler we got, are going to do some more uh, things but the one thing we have got a lot of cash at present but I think if we're going to do this we're going to blow a massive chunk on something that actually is good for that particular type of thing which is going to be it's is it under beet technology or is it under potato yeah it's Colossus Root Harvester. I would have liked to have. Yeah, but it, it's we've got to do it. It's in the next couple of months. I suppose we could lease it. I don't like to ruin the sales because you never know what you're going to get in the sales. You can't wait for it if you've got to, but you can always lease it. I didn't sort of say the rules of engagement, but that's usually always one of my standard rules that leasing is allowed. I do get because I don't like loans at all. Very rarely allow loans. So next session we're going to get the canola, that terribly weedy that's going to be the most awful amount of, um, yeah, ever, period. Uh, oh, now the looks should be quite close, really. Yeah, I was going to say. Let's just grab that. Wow, you don't get much closer than that. Fantastic, it's just, yeah, let's have a look. See if we can do anything with this. Yeah, it's level. It just looks weird. Right, smash it. So we've got a big tractor now already, uh, and we seem to be almost. Yeah, well, I don't know. We've got Case, John Deere, and Massa Ferguson, mortal enemies. But yeah, I'm, I'm not. A, I don't mind John Deere and Case and all the rest of them. I'm not a. Yeah, really do. In fact, my favourite tractor is a Case. Really, yeah. And my the 7250 is also another firm favourite, so there's a lot of cases that I absolutely really do love. Right, but that's where we're going to leave this first session, yeah. All that remains to be said is I hope you're going to join me on this journey. Thank you very much for watching, and I'm going to say goodbye for now. <laughs>